ओ लेवल बायोलॉजी फाइव जीरो नाइन जीरो पेपर फोर टू मे जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल क्वेश्चन नंबर टू आर स्टूडेंट इन्वेस्टिगेटेड द नंबर ऑफ प्लांट्स ऑन ए स्कूल फील्ड दिस वॉज डन बाई एग्जामिंग स्मॉल सैम्पल्स ऑफ द फील्ड चूजिंग अ स्केयर फ्रेम मयरिंग जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर दिस चोज दी प्लांट्स इन वन ऑफ दोस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मीटर सैम्पल्स स्पीशीज सी स्पीशीज टी एंड स्पीशीज ई सो दी सैम्पल कंटेन थ्री डिफरेंट प्लांट स्पीशीज दी स्टूडेंट काउंटेड दी नंबर ऑफ प्लांट्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ दी स्पीशीज इन दिस सैम्पल वन प्लांट वॉज नॉट फुली विद इन दी स्केयर फ्रेम सजेस्ट एंड एक्सप्लेन वट यू वुड डू अबाउट दिस प्लांट एंड दिस दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस प्लांट यू कैन सी ऑन स्क्रीन दैट इज दिस प्लांट so you can see students the most part of this plant is inside the experimental area so it will be included so we are we will write its answer over there in the given place that is we will include it it will be included most of it is inside the frame so now we will move to, towards the next question and next question is see uh, they have given table 2.1 plant species c number of plants in the sample they were seven and uh, estimated number of plants in the whole field it became 5600 then they uh, calculated it and d4 so the estimated number of plants in the whole field became 3200 and the species e it was about 10 so the estimated value it became 800 so we have to complete completed this table but in the next question the whole field measured 10 meter into 20 meter so we have to calculate this value which i have already given uh, written over there in the table so according to this we are we have to show this uh, the working of the answer which i had written over there the question is that is the 10 meter into 20 meter so we will do it in this way 10 into 2 and it is 20 Into two, so the value is ten to two twenty. Twenty into two, it is forty. So it is equal to eight hundred. So we will, uh, when we uh, multiply this ten with eight hundred. Now we will multiply with eight hundred because there are ten plants over there. So the total estimated is eight thousand. So eight thousand. Uh, no, so we have written this answer over there. Now next question is explain why the student counted the number of plants in samples of the field instead of counting the number of plants in the whole field, because it was difficult to calculate the plant species present in in a big field. It was. Difficult to count the all plants in whole field because there were number of you can say different species are present. So in this way, it it seems to be difficult. Now we will move towards the next question. and in next question is suggest two reasons why taking several samples would improve the accuracy of the estimate for the number of the plants in the whole field so we have to give two suggestions about this the first suggestions uh, which can be given as because the plants were not evenly distributed throughout the field
because the whole <clears throat> field has these three different species and there can be the other uh, species of the plants, but uh, the scientist the one who is who research water, who has conducted this experiment has chosen only three species. So in this way, uh, and these plants were not evenly distributed. The different places had the different number of species of those plants over there. So uh, the second can be given. So here this, uh, they were not, they were unable to include all species of the plants. So more, you can see the number of plant species were more as uh, comparison to the whole field. So they have chosen some of these species. So they have included only three species. So the number of plants we can write in this way. And they have chosen only these two species. <clears throat> now, the next question is of we have to draw a graph, and we are list the data in the table 2.1. Uh, construct a bar chart to show the estimated number of the plants of the species C, D, and E in the whole field. So here you can see, we have to construct a bar graph. So before drawing this bar graph, we have to keep some points in mind as for example, uh, well, first of all, we have to label the both uh, axis that is on X axis, we will take the plant species. and the other estimated number of the plants on the other side. Estimated number of plants. So in this way, the graph can be so. Uh, to draw the bar graph, we have to uh, keep in mind that is the all bars that all bars should be of the same width and we have to in this way we have to we can write in this way that all bars we can write over here all bars can be of same width equal distance equal distance should be among them clean and clear lines lines of these bars use of scale. So we have to keep all these points in mind when we are going to uh, draw the any of this. So first of all, we are going to write in this way on x-axis, the number of species, species C, D, and species E. We will take them at equal distance. And then <clears throat> on this side, we will start the estimated number from 2000, then 4000, it is 6000, and then 8000. So one uh, large box is equal to 2000. And uh, on this side, we will write the species at equal distance. So the first reading, uh, the species C's estimated number was 5600. So we have to draw this about, it will be 5000 in the center of 5. And we have to write the 5 in this way. 
we can choose five small scales. In this. So, and the other reading was 3200. And so we will do this. The same width of these bars should be with the scale as I am drawing on the my screen. So little bit difficult, but you people can do it very well. Now the other reading, the last reading is 8000. So, uh, but in your graph, there should not be the double lines. I, I have told you that I'm drawing on my screen. So it is a little bit difficult, but the width of these will be equal and there should be the distance between. They should not join with one another. In that case, it can be the histogram. So you have to draw the bar graph. So it, it was all about the question number two. Now we are moving towards the question number three. And question number three is, plants can be provided with fertilizer to help them grow. Some students were provided with germinated seeds of the same species in some shallow dishes and a 10% fertilizer solution. One dish is shown in figure 3.1. So this is figure 3.1. And in figure 3.1, <clears throat> one dish is shown, the student had uh, access to any other common laboratory apparatus, germinated seed, shallow dish, 3.1. Now, uh, after this discussion, we came to know that what we have to do according to this investigation. So according to this investigation, the plan and investigation, the students could carry out to find the effect of different fertilizers concentrations on plant growth. So it was only one dish. Now we have to take three dishes, three dishes having three different concentrations of fertilizer solutions. For this purpose, um, the, we have to conduct this experiment. So first of all, we will take three, I will, uh, you can say, uh, write only the important points, three dishes, having germinating seeds, germinating plants of the same species same number of plants in all dishes will be provided same number of same number of light intensity same light intensity and the same volume of water same volume of water will be provided but the concentration of fertilizer solution solution will be different Dish A will have four percent, B will have six percent, and C will have eight percent fertilizer solution. They will be kept for similar same time
for same time. So after a few days, they can be observed for mass and height compare comparison between them will show the effect of different percentage of percentage of different percentage of fertilizer solutions so it will show which concentration of fertilizer solution was best for the growth of the plants now the next question uh, identify the independent variable in this investigation the independent uh, variable in this investigation was fertilizer concentration. Fertilizer concentration because at different concentrations the growth can be the different. So the only the independent fertilizer which can be kept constant it was the fertilizer concentration. So it was all about question number two and three. Uh, students, please like, share and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.